Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the ABC's coverage of the National Netball League. I'm Simone Thurtell. Great to have your company this morning for this game between the Ravens and the Phoenix. It's going to be a tough task for the Ravens against the Phoenix, who sit third on the ladder, and it hasn't been the start to the season that coach Faye Walsh wanted. Let's take a look at the competition table and see how all eight teams are faring. The Adelaide Thunderbirds are first in the league after some devastating performances in the past three rounds. As I said, the Phoenix have had a solid start to their season and only narrowly went down to the Sydney Swifts last week. They sit in third place on four points. And this morning, the Adelaide Ravens will be searching for their first win of the season. Joining me in commentary is Monica Lam and Monica, a tough task ahead of the Ravens. They're playing the Phoenix, who have really had some great victories so far this season and are really showing they're a force to be reckoned with in this competition. Yes, I agree, Simone. Exceptional start to season 2000 for the Phoenix. McMahon playing brilliant netball, backed up by Southby. Tavener to hit the court, but don't underestimate the Ravens. Trudy Gardner, their captain, playing her 50th game, fire in the belly, something to play for. I hope they do it well. And we're underway. Venice, our umpires, Jackie Jashari and Stacey Campton. Phoenix running right to left in the purple. There's an ambitious shot there from McMahon. And the Ravens running left to right in the red get their first attacking chance. Good confidence start by the Melbourne Phoenix, turned over by the Adelaide Ravens. Adelaide Ravens team sheet, you can see Gardner in the centre position playing her 50th game in this match. Heinrich and McKinnon, they'll be looking to lift themselves in the shooting percentages as we see them do just that. Get their first goal. We'll take a look at the Melbourne Phoenix. Southby and McMahon. McMahon last week shot 97%. She'll be looking to continue on with that. Look for also Walton and Browning in defence. They're normally uh, quite a combination in goal. Good movement by Heinrich on the goal line. McKinnon gets the penalty. Adelaide Ravens, two on the board. So one apiece for both of the Ravens shooters. That'll be a nice confidence booster. They're two up here, the Ravens and the Phoenix, looking for their first... Feeney. And the Phoenix hold the lead in the overall. They've played each other six times. Phoenix have won four of them. Their encounters as Eloise Southby is all net for her first attempt. Cobb. Heinrich finds McKinnon. Heinrich works with Cobb. Good strong movement there from McKinnon, placing her body in front of Walton. Penalty successful. And this is a positive start for the Adelaide Ravens, and it's exactly what they needed against a team of the calibre of the Melbourne Phoenix. They're a young team, the Ravens, rebuilding in season 2000 after a number of their players departed the club in the off-season. Two of those players, Kelly Venice and also Sally Browning. They've hit the court for the Melbourne Phoenix, playing against their former side. McMahon gets her first of the match. She shot 28 from 29. Last round, as the Phoenix have the throw in, Browning from the baseline, Chocolate. Back to Browning. Walton looks for an option. The Ravens working hard in defence here. Good work. They've held up the Melbourne Phoenix's drive. Now the Phoenix. Meany into McMahon, plants that foot and gets her second of the match. Levels it up. Three apiece. McMahon, bit ambitious there. Picked up by Venice, so she takes the penalty. Southby up against Paul Jane. Paul giving away three centimetres, 187 centimetres. That's the stance of Eloise Southby. Southby up against Jane Paul, who's at 184. Crowd not too happy with that umpiring decision, and Southby made the most of it. Put her second goal through the net. But the Ravens attacking quickly here, Heinrich. Gardner. McKinnon. That advantage not allowed to stand. Went back out of the circle. Disadvantage there to the Adelaide Ravens. So the Phoenix 
quickly down court. Meany into McMahon. Good vision there from Meany. On the, off the rim for McMahon. Phoenix take a two goal lead, five plays three. McMahon creating the play in the goal circle. Yan Reed, tough task up against one of Australia's top shooters in Cheryl McMahon. Meany cross court was looking for Venice. But it sailed over the sideline, so a turnover now. And the Ravens with the chance to get back within one. Paralleled there from Reed. Paul backs it up. Cobb. Oh, double teamed. Manages just to get it away. Regathers again. Cobb finds Gardner. Heinrich with the stretch. We attack offside. Odin oh, Cobb ruled offside. So some solid defensive work there from the Phoenix causes the turnover. Good oh. hands there from Gardner. Good stretch over that pass, but falls away of Phoenix. Chocolate to Venice. Lobs the ball into Southby, who improves the position. And Eloise Southby now, three from three. She's the co-captain of the that Melbourne Phoenix. In conjunction with Liz Tavner. Who I believe is sitting on the bench Danny's this contact, evening, so attack. maybe we might see Tav back on court. Coach Joyce Brown choosing to go Center with third. Browning and Walton, doesn't want to rush Tavener back on court, has depth within the defensive unit of the Phoenix. Meany on to Walton. Chocolate. McMahon looks for an option. Southby quick oh, release well onto McMahon. Good movement from Sherelle McMahon. Takes the Phoenix out to a four goal lead. Seven plays three. Ball coming in. Well weighted there from Southby. McMahon held the lead. And Sherelle McMahon at the moment is third in the lead for her shooting. She's shooting at 88%. I'm sure she'd be very happy with those statistics as she lines up for another one in this particular match. Five from seven now for Sherelle at 71%. Only four the difference, 10 plays six. But yeah, the Melbourne Phoenix, they have the third and fourth ranked shooters at the moment in the league as Southby puts another one through and she's quite happy with that effort. Very quickly answered there by the Melbourne Phoenix. Pocket there going the way of Gardner. That is obstruction. Raymond's at the moment. Obstruction. I'm scared of this Melbourne Phoenix lineup. They are pushing it, even though the margin at the moment is only four. See the pocket there, Gardner's commanding space. Heinrich holds it up. And that was well timed from Gardner. Waited for Heinrich to move to the post. I think you pinned it, Monica, when you said that they've come out. They're not scared. They're looking quite confident. Yes, they may be four behind on the board, but they've had some pretty solid defeats in early rounds of this competition. And they really have nothing to lose here against the Phoenix. And that's pretty much what they're showing so far, early signs. But what they're really going to have to do, and it's quite an elementary thing to say, but they're going to have to shut down Southby and McMahon if they're to have any chance. And it's a big ask of Reed and Paul. But shut it down prior to getting to Southby and McMahon. And that's what has to be cut off in the middle there. Chocolate, Venice and Meany have to be contained because once it gets past the transverse line, McMahon and Southby will cut up into any defensive unit. And you can see there Southby backing up well, takes in the rebound after McMahon's shot went astray. And Southby puts it through. Six from six now for Eloise in the first quarter. 16 the attempts, so I was going to say, yes, Simone to the Melbourne Phoenix. So the majority of play going their way. Southby looking to play on quickly there. And there was a Ravens hand in the way. And the Ravens now with possession. Oh, high one there. Yes, it did go the way of McMahon. Very quick turnover. And very quick shot. Southby there taking Phoenix out to 14. Ravens on seven. And this one goes astray. You can see the penalties. Five the difference. Ravens have 10 to the Phoenix's five. They've come up with another possession here, the Ravens. The crowd appreciative of the effort, but just some of the final passes going astray. The last two minutes, some rushed passes going into the forward line. Fairly erratic, not thinking 
as efficiently as they were in the first part of the quarter. Turnovers there, Ravens with the eight, Phoenix five. Chocolate onto Venice, solid ball into McMahon. McMahon sinks her eighth. Phoenix 15 now over the Ravens seven, just over three minutes remaining. And Melbourne has the centre pass. Venice gets on with it quickly. Into Southby, takes it from where she is. And Eloise Southby really in the zone at the moment, eight from eight. Phoenix 16, the Ravens seven. See Ravens just floundering for the moment not making any ground towards the goal circle. Good attempt there from Walton, putting the pressure on McKinnon. It's coach Joyce Brown, former Australian coach, Australian player. Been quite happy at the moment in this first quarter. The crowd happy with that particular goal. 16 plays eight, the Ravens behind by eight now. Gardner in late. Bay Walsh taking quite a few notes, I'm sure, in this first quarter. Still plenty of time left in this match. Obviously, three quarters left to go. Start of the season out, Faye Walsh, with the experience of Sharon Durridge, but uh, has opted for Kristen Heinrich, who does give a lot more movement. A bit more flighty, agile. She's got a great jump on her, and she's fairly creative in the circle. McMahon had a good start to the season, young player. Rookie year. Last off Walton, so McKinnon gets it into Gardner. McKinnon made room for herself. And gets a well-needed goal for the Adelaide Ravens there, Jamie McKinnon. Seven from nine now for her at 78%. Phoenix 17, the Ravens nine. Venice to McMahon. Into Southbeat. Venice works well with Southbeat. And I'm sure the mid-court love to see their hard work being finished off like that from both shooters, McMahon and Southby. Very creative two forward players in Southby and McMahon, and I think as a wing attack, that's all you can ask for is rather than stationary stance, they are always moving and giving other options. Gardner Heinrich uses a height against Walton. On her toes, Kristen Heinrich gets that one through. That's just her third goal for this quarter. Brings the Ravens back within eight. 30 seconds remaining on the clock for the first quarter. Venice into Southby. She's going to take it from there. Hard off the rim, but good work from McMahon, who got a touch to it. Southby with the goal. Phoenix now 19, the Ravens 10. And it's been a solid performance from the Melbourne Phoenix in this first quarter. As we hear the whistle go for the first quarter break, and the Melbourne Phoenix have a nine goal lead over the Adelaide Ravens. 19 plays 10 in this first quarter. And let's take a look at the statistics for the home team, the Adelaide Ravens. You can see Heinrich and McKinnon, three from four for Heinrich and McKinnon, seven from nine. They've been accurate, but they just haven't had enough attempts at goal. Chapman has six penalties, Reed four and pull five, but we knew that they'd be working hard against the likes of Southby and McMahon. So a nine goal lead to the Melbourne Phoenix at first quarter break. And we're underway in the second quarter. Gardner onto Cobb. Ravens with the first touch. So Sally... Heinrich has to stop as she has to stop that movement from Browning. On that occasion, she went forward but allowed Browning to come around and took the intercept. But stats for the first quarter. Heinrich only had four attempts, three successful. McKinnon, nine, seven from nine. And for the Phoenix, look at that there. Southby, 11 from 12. McMahon, eight from 11. Well, the Ravens start with a goal, reduce that margin to eight, but McMahon now with the ball for the Phoenix. And with the goal. Last year was saying the Melbourne Phoenix was their rebuilding year. They didn't have the season that they were looking for, and I'm sure Coach Brown was a little disappointed with it, but this year they've come out blazing. 
and certainly we're talking about them as finals contenders even though it is only round four in the competition venice oh great work there from gardner playing a big match here her 50th and she's giving it her all takes that intercept good anticipation gardner now to cobb oh, quickly well on to heinrich who ran the baseline well and that's what the crowds come to see the ravens now on 12 Kristen Heinrich, that's her fifth goal of this match. Loose pass there from Susan Meany, meant for Venice. I had to grab my cup of tea, thought it was going to go running as the ball hit us, but not to worry. Chapman, out to Paul. McMahon working around <laughs> the shoulder there of Reed. Almost begging there for possession. McMahon, McKinnon onto Heinrich, finds Cobb. Into McKinnon. Jamie McKinnon. I like the look of her shooting action. She just looks confident. Eight from ten at eighty percent. Let's see if they can get a roll on here, the Adelaide Ravens. Brought the difference back to seven. Make that six as Heinrich shoots one. So they started the first quarter. They're back in touch at the moment. They don't want to lose this feeling. On four at the moment on the scoreboard as opposed to the Phoenix one. Let's see it. Two. 14 plays, 21. Gardner to Cobb and well back dead up by Heinrich. Gardner. Heinrich made herself available. It's her seventh, seven from eight now at 88%. 21 plays, 15, 12 remaining in this second quarter. You can see the Ravens shooting stats there. Seven from eight for Heinrich and eight from 10 for McKinnon. Ended the first quarter with 77%, Simone, the Adelaide Ravens. So they've increased their percentage. Phoenix there, Southie still shooting exceptionally well. He's only missed the one. McMahon, 10 from 13. Southie to Venice. Back to Southie, finds Meany. Floated ball to McMahon. The timing's just perfect from the Phoenix. Phoenix. As McMahon sinks another one. That's her 11th. 23 plays 15. The Ravens just seem to look like they pick up that gear, but the Phoenix go into overdrive as we see. Time, please. Trudy Cut. Gardner go down. Yep. And she's in considerable pain here, Trudy Gardner. I must admit, I had my eyes on the baseline as one of the defenders from the Ravens went down. Maybe we'll be able to pick it up from this replay. Gardner's at the top of the circle. That's Venice there, South B. Gardner oh. just... She just ran into like, Meany, yeah. but you can see that uh, there were two Ravens players on the ground at once. This is not good for Gardner, who is playing her 50th match here. Cobb, high ball to Heinrich. This is what Adelaide needs. They need the shooters to convert every opportunity. 27 plays, Ladies 19. The They're hanging in there. The margin hasn't been bigger than 10 so far in the match. And a turnover. Here the umpire indicating the penalty needs to be set up. Cobb onto McKinnon. Works with Cobb. Chocolate will stand aside. McKinnon takes it from a distance. Oh, oh and it drops in for Jamie McKinnon. What so, a nice way to bring up 10 goals. At the moment, the inexperience really of the Ravens forward line. Doing rather well. Melissa Tump coming on in this second quarter with the injury to Captain Trudy Gardner. Heinrich sets it up. Still possession with the Ravens. They've scrambled well. Oh, but replay there. Unfortunate. Must have been an offside, I think it was. Oh, okay. Browning. Into Walton. Ravens holding it up at the moment. And good pressure put on by the Adelaide Ravens, containing Phoenix in the centre third. Meany onto McMahon. I think Lamar's getting frustrated back there. The ball's not coming down quick enough, so she created the space. 
McMahon takes the Phoenix to 28, back out to an eight goal lead. And it has been said about Sherelle McMahon, she's looking fitter than ever in this season. She so, really does cover a lot of court during a match. We're running out of superlatives when it comes to, oh! <laughs> and Venice obviously, obviously has been training with McMahon. That was lightning reflexes. South Beef. 16 from 17 now, shooting at 94%. Phoenix back out to nine. Cobb. McKinnon. And still Jamie McKinnon looking quite comfortable in the goal attack position. Brings the Ravens back into an eight goal difference. Phoenix though, looking determined. As they make their way down court. Inside, shuttle pass. Paul stands aside and Southby, yes. confidence running high. No, dishes off to McMahon. Option was too good there with Raven. McMahon closer to the post. Margin still nine as it was at the end of the first quarter. Tum. We're doing everything in stereo tonight. We are. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll say it. <laughs> McKinnon gets the goal, brings it back to within eight. Danny's Just over five minutes fans. remaining in this second quarter. Advantage. 30 Danny plays 22, South Beat. Meany now. Cross court to Venice, bullet pass into McMahon. And McMahon with the goal. Her 15th of the match so far. Phoenix with 35 attempts. The Ravens with 26 attempts. Shooting percentages looking uh, fairly healthy. Oh, too much height there for Heinrich. Well covered by Browning. You can see 22 from 26 for the Ravens, 31 from 35. Not too shabby at all. Be very happy both ends of the court with the shooting performance, although I'm sure the Ravens would like far more attempts at the post. Flying down court here, the Phoenix. And McMahon finishes it off well, but it was just a beautiful passage of play from Melbourne. Quick hands, quick movement. And they have the centre pass. Meany back to Chocolate. Finds Walton. On to Meany. Southby out of the circle. Venice. On to McMahon. Southby with one step in. Oh, but in and out. And Paul with a nice rebound there. Reed waits for Cobb to move down. McKinnon. Tump. Takes it well, but it falls short again. Heinrich working behind Browning. Perhaps a bit fortunate on that occasion to draw the penalty. Quick hands. McKinnon rings it and it drops for the Ravens. Rolled around the rim twice, but it dropped in for Jamie McKinnon. 32 plays 23. Cobb to Tump. Heinrich finds McKinnon. Quick hands oh, onto Heinrich. Browning stands aside. McKinnon playing for that one. She gets it. Takes the shot, does it well. So eight the difference now with under three minutes remaining in the second quarter as McMahon leaves that one. Made the handling mistake. And the Ravens quick enough to clean it up. Heinrich with the goal down the other end. And just as you think that the Phoenix are going to take it out to a, an impressive lead, the Ravens just come fighting back. And that must be encouraging for Faye Walsh. They've got it back to seven. McKinnon makes the oh. difference now six with two and a half, or just under two and a half remaining in the second quarter. This really is a good fight back, Simone. Nine, the difference at the end of the Back first quarter. Gardner going off. Young players. Yes. McMahon still solid in circle, though. Tump finds McKinnon. Heinrich. There were no options, but in the end, just a bounce pass to McKinnon. Oh, just doesn't drop all the Ravens there and Heinrich tried valiantly to try and keep it in court. Oh, good attempt there from Tump. Over the shoulder. Venice 
to McMahon. Meany quickly into South Beef. That was precise movement there from the Phoenix forward line. Straight movements to the ball. Meany to McMahon to Venice. Southie wants time called. There's water on the court. And of course, she's worried about slipping. And I don't know whether you can hear it, but it's absolutely pouring here at Adelaide. That's rain that you can hear on the roof. Hopefully, it's not the roof that's leaking onto the court. Yeah, okay. Actually, I think it might be. You've heard uh, Jackie Jashari there maybe question that it is. Anyway, play is underway again here. Side centre. Possession with the Phoenix. Round there, please. Thank you. Yes, thank you. McMahon. Manage up sideways. Tamini. Oh, well placed. Good body work there by South Beach. She held Raven. the front, st front stance on the... The defenders final minute of this first half in this round four match between the ravens and the phoenix oh. 35 to 26 that call's gone against the ravens so a missed opportunity there the difference is nine it was nine at the first quarter break as well browning to walton oh Three solid challenge contact. there from chapman it was went with venice wrote it well Clock's ticking down now at the moment. Meany. Southby. Bandage obstruction. Venice. Goalkeeper inside. Shot a pass with her, with the keeper. Ball stands aside again. Contact centre ratings. Venice with possession. Finds Southby, drags it in through one hand. And I'd say gets the last goal Ravens of the quarter there. 36 to 26, the Phoenix over the Ravens. But I think they'll run out of time here. Time. And in fact, that is half time here at Etza Park in Adelaide. And they have a 10 goal lead, the Melbourne Phoenix over the Ravens, 36 to 26. Let's take a look at the statistics for both teams for the half. Penalties 27 to the Ravens, 18 to the Phoenix, two all in the rebounds. 13 turnovers against the Ravens, four intercepts apiece. Look at the attempts at goal, 41 for the Phoenix, 10 more than the Ravens. The percentage is quite high here for their accuracy, 88% for the Phoenix, 84 for the Ravens. And our halftime score, the Melbourne Phoenix, 36, leading the Adelaide Ravens, 26. Ingrid Dick is the new centre for the Melbourne Phoenix and she gets us underway. Let's take a look at the Ravens' formation. You can see that Heinrich is in a goal shooter. McKinnon goal attack, Tump wing attack, Cobb is at centre, Chapman at wing defence, Reed at goal defence and Pull at goalkeeper. They've kept the same formation as their first and second quarters. But there has been changes to the Melbourne Phoenix. You can see the green of Meany means she's changed position and the red of Tavener and Dick mean they have joined us in the third quarter. Dick in at centre and it's great to see Liz Tavener back on court. In season 2000 in a goal defence, Tav of course had a knee reconstruction, has taken her time in rejoining the league and I think it's been a, a wise decision on her behalf. And the team uh, welcomes her back with open arms. I'm sure the likes of Southby and McMahon are quite happy to have her back within the side. And Offside wing. Whilst to overcome new, two knee reconstructions is a big task in itself, um, she's got some incredible confidence in trying to make the Australian side again, and that will be one of her goals in years to come as the Adelaide Ravens. Strong ball into Heinrich, and she finished it off well. Ten the difference again, 37 plays, 27. Meany to Tavener. Ooh, McMahon tried hard to keep it in court, but it will be a throw into the Ravens. Reed from the sideline, yes. all ran out of options. Three second call. So nobody made themselves or was able to make themselves available. Good defensive work from the Melbourne Phoenix. Caused the turnover. McMahon off to Southbeat. Southbeat 20th goal of the match. 20 from 22 attempts, shooting at 91%. Heinrich there, 12 from 14. McKinnon 15 from 18. As we said in the intro, that's where the strength is. Just Melbourne Phoenix forward line, McMahon and Southby. Dick into McMahon. 
Go into South Beach, sorry, onto McMahon. Yes. You could hear the call, I don't know if you could, but we heard it quite clearly of yes. Knew that one was going through as it left the hand. Tom, Tom. holds it up again, Chapman. Venice, oh, did that exceptionally well. Didn't go offside, kept it onside. Venice. Oh, nice stretch there from Leanne Reed. Manages to regain possession for the Adelaide Ravens. Reed now to Tump. And to Cobb, who finds Heinrich. Contact. Shot or pass. McKinnon offloads to Heinrich, who puts it through the net and brings that difference back to 10. 39 players, 29, 12 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Selfie. Playing in front, McMahon allowed a few metres there. Scores for the Phoenix, 29 plays 40. Cobb to Tump, onto McKinnon. Good movement from Cobb. Contact, total pass. Move back, goalkeeper. Yes, we're... Browning stands aside, Heinrich on one foot, but nicely balanced. Heinrich, 14 from 16 now at 88%. To the pocket there. Cobb holds it up. Heinrich gathers it well. And the Ravens with possession again here. Oh, good challenge from Tavern up on McKinnon. Adelaide still with the ball. Cobb. Tump does well to drag it back in, but Meany comes up with it for the Phoenix. I think it was deflected there by Tavener. Picked up the crumbs. Pulls out, two in the circle now. One front, one back, forward option used. Southby takes the time. Southby 21 from 23, 91% shooting average. Overall, they're 89% for the Phoenix, 86 for the Ravens. That's a positive for them as it's turned over by the Phoenix once again. Browning with some beautiful defensive work, good hands. And down at the other end, Southby. Pressure from Paul, and it rolls off the rim for Southby. Leanne Reed comes up with oh. it. Meany with a beautiful intercept in the air. She had it red from the very beginning, from the time it left the hand. This time Southby gets it through. Takes the Phoenix's lead to 12. 42 plays 30. Here comes the long hospital pass. Meany being a Meany, cut in front. <laughs> Took it well. And the confidence just gets... Uh, Oh, I, was, I was going to say the confidence gets uh, more and more here. I loved the look on Southby's face there as it just went through the hands. Sometimes something has to go wrong. Contact. See, 11 penalties, the difference. Goal third. Ravens have 31 to the up Phoenix, wait, 20. Please wait. Goalkeeper, move up with her, please. Cobb to Heinrich. Vantage offside. Nice work there between Tump and McKinnon. Heinrich oh. for Heinrich. Gets the goal! Kristen Heinrich has ignited the crowd here at Etza Park. Cobb gets us underway again. Heinrich has her oh. hand taped and uh, she needed to have a bit of a growth spurt to bring that one back in. <laughs> Meany now for the Phoenix. And her pass goes astray as well. So two quick turnovers and the possession's back with the Ravens. McKinnon, oh, oh, good reflexes. Oh. That's a heavy fall from Heinrich. She's got a smile on her face, so she's possibly okay. Oh, there was a space in the middle, threading the eye of a needle, fell over. Fell over, over this yes. Tavener's uh, leg there. So we're underway again in the Phoenix. Quick hands from McMahon. And nice shooting action, 23 from 26 at 88%. Both Phoenix shooters shooting at 88% at the moment. Phoenix 46, the Ravens 34. You can see the shooting statistics there. Heinrich 16 from 18 and McKinnon 18 from 22. For the Ravens, not bad shooting for them either, but they just haven't had the attempts. 
that the Phoenix have. The Ravens have had 40 attempts at goal, and the Phoenix have had 53. Over here, please, goal defense. And they've really gone about converting those attempts as well. Venice now finds McMahon. Out to Dick into South B. South B once again successful. So time for perhaps Joyce Brown to contemplate some moves in the last quarter. Southby and McMahon on the exact shooting statistics at the moment. Both have 24 from 27 attempts and they're uh, at 89%, as Todd, our statistician, points out to us. And uh, Southby with the stretch. And the polished finish takes the Phoenix to 49. Bandy's Ravens 34. It's been a good quarter for the Phoenix. Good work there from McKinnon. Right under the post, Heinrich would not want to make a mess of that one and didn't. So the difference now, 14 for the Phoenix. Contact, 49 plays contact. 35. Oh, Southby to Venice, into McMahon. It's very professional, it's very slick. McMahon claps appreciative, appreciatively. Contact. Strong take there, but contact picked up by Heinrich. Turnover again at the moment. Turnovers 18 to the Ravens, 14 to Phoenix. Look at the quarter by quarter. The Phoenix in the first quarter out by nine, extended that in the second quarter to 10. At the moment, they're out by 15 in the third quarter. 50 plays 35, under three and a half remaining in the third quarter. Chapman. Oh, through the middle, Cobb takes it off the shoelaces, finds Tump. Cobb gathers, finds Heinrich along the baseline, and Heinrich finishes off nicely. That's her 18th goal from 20 attempts, shooting at 90%. Southby once again out of the circle. Dick moved it on very well to the top of the circle, and... Polished performance here today from Sherelle McMahon. Tump to McKinnon, quick ball to Cobb. Shot or pass. Move in with her, keeper, please. Thank you. Browning wanted to take it closer to the arc of the circle, but Tynery crept a few inches there. Got the advantage. Sherelle again, McMahon on to Venice. Yep, yeah, playing. <laughs> Replayed ball. Long oh. one. Oh, great pass. Opens the court up completely. Tump moves it on well. Oh, well thought out there by Kristen Heinrich. Some positive moments for Coach Faye Walsh and for the young Ravens side. And the crowd appreciative of the effort. Take a look at this from Tump to Heinrich. Just got a touch to it. It was good play. Let it go. Let Cobb gather it in. At the other end, McMahon will take it again. And makes easy work of it. 27 from 30 attempts. Phoenix now 52, the Ravens 37. Chapman to Reed. On to Tump. You can see there we've got... Very high accuracy in the shooting percentages in this match. Phoenix shooting at 90% and the Ravens shooting at 84%. Ravens throwing on the wing. Wing area. Tump with possession for the Ravens. Finds McKinnon. Heinrich. Ooh, oh, Cobb. Too high for Ordain Cobb. Heinrich was pressured in the circle by the Phoenix defenders. McKinnon couldn't get free, went from the Cobb on the goal circle. But now it's the Phoenix through McMahon. Southie, Venice. I think a touch there from Chapman. Quite a good match up there, Simone, too, really, between uh, Venice and Chapman. Almost same body weight, same height. Oh, Cheryl McMahon, she doesn't like to let any of them go. And she gets that one in. And I think that's the difference we've seen in her, the change over the past couple of seasons. She really has become very aggressive. 
if she misses a shot, then she's going to chase it with all that she's got <laughs> to regather that rebound. Handling error from Southby sees the Ravens with possession now. Leanne Reed appealing to the umpire for perhaps an obstruction. Not forthcoming. Dick onto Southby. She'll have to be quick to get this through the net before quarter time. And she does. So that is the end of the third quarter here at Etza Park. It's been a good quarter for the Melbourne Phoenix. They lead the Ravens 54 to 37. Let's take a look at the Phoenix statistics for the match so far. South B, 26 from 29. She's only missed three. Look at McMahon, 28 from 32. They really are the difference, the Melbourne Phoenix. The South B and McMahon in goal. And you can see there Browning and Tavener. Browning has eight penalties against her name. Meany has three. But really a polished performance here from the Phoenix. And they lead the Adelaide Ravens as they go to the three-quarter break. Cobb takes the ball up and she... Uh, Cobb gets us underway in the fourth and final quarter here at Etza Park. Let's take a look at the Melbourne Phoenix. The red means that Waller, Jacobson and Walton have come onto the court. Waller in goal shooter, Jacobson in wing attack and Walton in goal defence. So obviously coach Joyce Brown deciding that the difference between the two teams was big enough to make some changes and give some players some court time. Great luxury to have. And uh, versatility of the Phoenix lineup, not unlike the Adelaide Thunderbirds, as such, where Marg Angove does have a lot of options in her attack end and her defensive end. McKinnon and Heinrich for the Adelaide Ravens have remained in the same positions all day. 38 plays, 54. There's the shooting statistics there. Heinrich, 19 from 22. She would have to be happy with the percentage there. Thank you. 19 from 23 from McKinnon. Danny Jostai. And Southby and McMahon have been inspirational for the Phoenix. Shooting overall 89%. Raven. 55 shots from 62 attempts. McMahon now 29 from 33 attempts. As Heinrich by herself pulls that one in. Browning tries hard now, but Kristen Heinrich, she's been accurate in this match, shooting at 87%. But as we've mentioned a couple times, just hasn't got the opportunity to uh, put the shots up on as many occasions as the Phoenix shooters have. McMahon, good feed into Waller. Waller a little short with her first attempt. Drags it back in though, and that's a better second attempt from Christine Waller. 56 plays, 39. Ravens get us underway again. McKinnon, Tump, drags in after Dick got a touch to it. Heinrich gathers in her own ball. And Heinrich with the goal, takes the Ravens to 40. They're behind by 16 now. Jacobson, McMahon wanted the drive, but went sideways instead. Waller and McMahon, that was for either of them, but fell the way of the Ravens pulled. To Ball to take it on the goal line. Reed out to Cobb. Tump, good ball into Heinrich. And a nice goal there from Kristen Heinrich. Appreciated by the crowd. 56 now, plays 41. Cobb balancing on one. McKinnon. Steady performance here today. Jamie McKinnon, that's her 20th goal for the match. Shooting at 83%. I'm sure she's enjoyed the tough lineup and the tough defensive work that's been on her throughout this match. As McMahon sinks another one. Raven. Good attempt there by Leanne Reed. Had the intercept almost, fell off balance, fell the way of McMahon. 30 Tom. goals to Cheryl McMahon from 34 attempts. Heinrich arches the back. Walton pulls down a nice rebound, uses a height well, finds McMahon. Dick onto Waller. Oh, Ingrid Dick does well to keep it in court. 
But nice work from Reed to gather it in for the Ravens. Tump to Cobb. McKinnon. On to Heinrich. 23 goals now for Kristen Heinrich. Takes the Ravens to 43, but the Phoenix still with a commanding lead. They're on 47. 14 the margin at the moment. Walla mid-range shot from her. Poor good defensive action. Bandage offside centre. Bandage obstruction. Jacobson got a nice touch to it at back into McMahon. He finishes it off. Cobb to McKinnon. Heinrich finds her centre in Cobb. McKinnon tried to go round the corner. Oh. Picked up well there by Heinrich. Grappled with Walton, has the penalty shot. 44 to the Ravens. Difference is 14 with 10 remaining in the match. Contact, Jacobson, back to McMahon. Danny Johnson. On to Dick. Where the goal defence is, please. Here, please. Yeah. McMahon. It's looking all rather routine for Cheryl McMahon at this stage as she brings up her 32nd goal from 36 attempts. It's been a stunning performance. She continues on her fabulous form from last week when she shot 91 97%. McKinnon with the contact. Jacobson coming on in to this Phoenix lineup in this last quarter. Ingrid Dick also in its centre. At the moment, dropping the way of the Melbourne Phoenix. Walla Walla, it's her second shot out of four attempts in this last term. Offside. Pressure from Chapman, but she was offside. So, comes back. Walla and Jacobson way. work together. And that's the third for Christine Walla, who's joined the Phoenix on court in this fourth quarter. Phoenix 61, the Ravens 44, under nine minutes remaining in this fourth quarter as McKinnon sinks another oh, one. Hands from the forward line there. Cobb, McKinnon, all interacting well with the pass. Contact, wing defence. Move back, wing attack, wing attack, move back with the wing defence, please. Jacobson takes it back to the position where she's meant to play it from. Walla. Full front position. Danny's Took it well. Got the possession. There was no contact call on it. A bit messy at the moment. The Ravens not finding any space. Cobb to Chapman. Tom finds Cobb. And McKinnon gets her 22nd of the match from 26 attempts at 85%. It's been a good display on the young there. goal attack. And 20. also Kristen Heinrich, yeah, has yeah. had a great match as well. 25 from 30 attempts. Those four fans certainly enjoying their efforts. That is obstruction. <laughs> goal attack contact. Goes against McMahon. So the Ravens on the attack here. Ball to Tump. Oh, long way down, Melissa Tump. Well tried there by Chapman. Jacobson to Walton, who's come back on in this last term. McMahon and Waller. The shorter combination of the Phoenix lineup, Southby and McMahon. With Walton back on at goal defence, obviously Liz Tavner just taking it nice and slowly back into her matches. Just one quarter to give her a feel for what it's like again. That's very wise also, I and mean, let her just work herself in. Contact on the shooter, Heinrich stands aside. Browning to Dick, finds Meany, takes it one-handed. Oh, oh, beautiful work. McMahon to Dick and into Walla. Walla finishes off, but that was just lightning fast from the Phoenix. No stopping that drive. Jacobson once again. 
McMahon letting Waller come into the game. Control attack contact. Yes, and she was trying to create space with her shoulder. <laughs> Walton draws and creates the contact. Heinrich with the offload, but McKinnon wasn't in a good position to take that one and was falling out of court, so had to throw it anywhere to keep it in play. So the Phoenix through Wallop onto Dick. McMahon will line it up. And that is Cheryl McMahon's 33rd goal of the match. Looks like they're going to beat their highest Bandy's score, the Melbourne away. Phoenix, which uh, was last incurred in round one in 1997, where they scored 66 goals. They're sitting on that at the moment. And they still have three minutes 40 to go, so you'd say, yes, they'll clean that one up in a big way. Yes, they'll clean that one up in a big way. You like that, did you, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> and there Bandy's you go, Simone. Spot Bandy's on. 67 now for the Phoenix. They surpassed that highest score that was scored in round one of 1997. So here in round four of season 2000. It's great work from Browning, but Walton just couldn't drag it in. Ravens and Phoenix have met on six occasions. Ravens have won two. Phoenix by the looks of it now. This game taken into account, 1-5. Heinrich, 27 from 32 now. As the Bandage Phoenix contact. charge down court yet again. Jacobson into McMahon, plants the foot. One Bandage step to the side and it drops in for Sherelle McMahon. 36 goals of the Phoenix's 68. It's been impressive as the Ravens try to break through one more time through McKinnon. 23 from 29 at 79% for McKinnon. Highest winning margin also to the Melbourne Phoenix with 17 goals in that round one. So breaking a few records here today. Throw in. Goal circle. Two minutes remaining in the match. Ravens have the throw in from the baseline. Meany gets a touch to it. Oh, through the hands of Heinrich. Walton cleans it up nicely. McMahon into Wallop. Contact. Jacobson from the top of the circle into Wallop. Destruction, goal defence. And Wallop gets it through that time. Seven from 12 now from Christine Wallop at 58%, takes that margin to 19 as Walton drags it in again. They really are on their game here, the Melbourne Phoenix. Hell ball. Hell ball against Christine Waller. And kind of a right cheer from the Adelaide Ravens fans. Puts another one through for Adelaide, takes their score to 51, but the Phoenix still with an 18 goal lead as the ball makes its way back to centre. McMahon holds it up, gets it to Wallop. Jacobson, quick ball onto McMahon, who has a lightning pace. Even though we're in the last minute of this match, she brings up the 70 goals for the Melbourne Phoenix, Sherelle McMahon. Really has been a record-breaking performance here for the Phoenix against the Adelaide Ravens as Heinrich puts in the Ravens' 52nd goal. But they're out by 18, the Phoenix, and it looks like they'll have the last attack on goal. Waller. Oh, off the back of the rim. So maybe it'll be the Ravens if they're quick who'll get the last chance. Comes off Tump's head, regained by Chatlin. But that is full time here at Etza Park.
and it's been a convincing win to the Melbourne Phoenix. In the end, they took it by 18. The Phoenix 70 over the Adelaide Ravens 52. And it really was an impressive match from Melbourne. Take a look at the match statistics. The penalties, the Adelaide Ravens 48, the Phoenix 36. Rebounds were all squared up at seven apiece. Ravens had 26 turnovers, the Phoenix 22. Nine intercepts to the Phoenix and six to the Adelaide Ravens. This is where the story of the match is told, though. Look at those attempts. The Melbourne Phoenix, 83. The Adelaide Ravens, only 63 attempts at goal. The goal percentages were relatively even. The Phoenix shot 84% accuracy and the Ravens shot 83% accuracy. But in the end, the Melbourne Phoenix, 70. The Adelaide Ravens, 52. And Monica Lam is speaking to Susan Meany. Thanks, Simone. Well, Sue, you'd have to be pretty happy with that performance. Yeah, we were. We really wanted to come out tonight and consolidate and, and pick up from where we sort of made some errors last week, so we're very happy. Good start from the Phoenix forward line, McMahon and South be inspirational. We said that during the whole commentary. Yeah, they're in great form, and we're just so lucky to have such talented shooters down there, and they're really making the most of the opportunities we have in defence, so it's fantastic to have them. Good to note also the Ravens coming back within seven in that second quarter. What was said by Joyce Brown at that break? Um, they did come back. We needed to close it up through the centre corridor. Um, we're letting them sort of drive down too easily and the ball flow down. So we needed to close that up and we did that in the third quarter and I think that made the difference. How good, good was it to have Liz Taverner back on the, on court? Yeah, she's, she's an awesome player and it's an honour to be playing with her. It's great to see her take that next step playing a quarter. She did really well. It's, I mean, it's on the upwards for her from now on, so it'll be good. Great start to the season. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much, Mike. Well, we hope you enjoyed that match. What a stunning display from the Melbourne Phoenix. Next Saturday at 5 o'clock, make sure you join Jenny Borlase and myself as we head to Melbourne for the game between the Phoenix and the Adelaide Thunderbirds. What a game that's going to be with both teams in the top three on the ladder. Then next Sunday morning at 9.30, Steve Rebilliard and Vicky Wilson will bring you the match between the Queensland Firebirds and the Perth Orioles. Perth are keen to get a position in the top four and will be going all out to beat the Firebirds at home. This afternoon, ABC has great soccer action for you. It's semi-finals time and Sydney Olympic are taking on Adelaide City Force at Belmore. It's game one of the series and you can see the action live at five o'clock. And great news for soccer fans. You can see highlights from both of the semi-finals matches in a special highlights program Tuesday night at 11.15. And don't forget, you can also visit the ABC Netball website. You can find the site at www.abc.net dot au forward slash netball well that's all we've got for you from adelaide i'm simone thurtell on behalf of my